Hello, Sogosol here and today I'm going to showcase all of the items from the scavenger hunt that has been taking place this month. The phase 1 is complete and all of the codes have been found. And in the description below you can find a link to a Trello page where you can find all of the codes for all of the items. I have already redeemed all of these myself, but I am going to show an example if of what to do if you want a combustible or frosty variant of said skins. So let's get started. What you do is you go to the store page and down here you see redeem key. So I am going to put in a code for one of the skins here, the blue reaper nova. There we go, but uh, like I said, I have already redeemed uh, this code, but I haven't redeemed a frosty or fiery variant. So we go back here, and if we want a frosty variant, we just put in the prefix in front of said code. And we'll click OK. And here we have a blue reaper nova and it will be frosty however you have to restart the game for it to uh, actually become said variant so i'll be back in a moment all right i am back and the skin should be a frosty variant of said skin now so Let's go ahead and take a look at all of these items that we've gotten. So let's go into customization. All of the dinosaurs that have received a skin or, or one or more skins, I've set them to default. So let's start with the Tyrannosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus has received two mutations the Acutus and the Crispus Rex. Genetically modified with a fringe of spikes running along the skull, sharper dorsal ridges and jagged spines on the tail tip. This is... Uh, this looks a lot like the uh, Spectatus Rex, but if you look at the tail, the Acutus Rex has like... Uh, more of a crocodilian tail, if you say, to say. And the next one is a Crispus Rex. Genetically modified, sprouting sharp quills all along its body. This specimen de developed an even more deadly set of armor. As you can see here, it has quills running down from the back of the head down to the back end here and it has little quills on the tiny arms and for the skin we have the rusek rex don't stare which goes along pretty well with the crispus rex if i say so myself i like the blue quills on the back next up let's take a look at what the spinosaurus got didn't get any new mutations for the Spinosaurus, but we did get two skins. So, first we have the legendary Mahi Mahi Spino. Exotic spin... spin? Exotic skin patterning derived from tropical fish extracts. Which is a really nice Spinosaurus skin. I, I really, really do like all of this speckling, the blue speckling all over. So what's the other skin? Well... Legendary Ferricino Spino. An hybrid specimen sliced... An hybrid? A hybrid specimen sliced with Ferrocinosaurus DNA that developed longer claws, a thicker feather coat, and stubbier body shape. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Ferrocinosaurus... 
it says fairy spinosaurus. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Look at them claws. You wouldn't want this bad boy swiping at ya. Let's move on to the Acrocanthosaurus. The Acro did not get any new mutations, but it did get a couple of skins. So we have the Yellow Swing Acro, not so friendly anymore. The uh, legendary Aqua Aurora Acro, lacking in facial tissue, but has style in abundance. Yeah, it's like a skull shape marking on this face here. Legendary Blue Lotus Acro, just a little aquatic plant passing by. I don't think it's a little. And I'm not sure if it's aquatic. But it's pretty. Next up, the Nova Raptor. Like the others, the Nova Raptor did not receive any new mutations. But it got a few skins. So let's start with the uh, rare tropical terror. Summer Edition. It's a very, very vivid skin, and personally, I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I could look at it all day. Beautiful. Then we have... Yeah, save these two for lost. The rare blue diamond Noah. Like a diamond dove. I mean, it's very pretty. I, I like the spots on the wing feathers here. Yeah, it's, the spots really pulls it all together. Yes, you're so pretty. Very pretty. And then we have the legendary blue reaper Noah. It's here to collect. Oh, it's a really, really awesome looking skin. It's like uh, a blue version of the uh, Hellhound Nova. Sort of. It's really cool. And we did redeem a frosty version as well. So let's take a look and see how what that looks like. See this frost, frosty effect coming from the eyes and the feet? That's what the frosty version does. Nice. Moving on, Ovi Raptor got a whole bunch of skins. No mutations, but many, many skins. First up, we have the rare Crimson Ovi Raptor, a red coated rubber. And honestly, this skin, I love it so, so much. It's just something about it that really, really fits the Ovi Raptor. I love the crest, the little purple splotch hair around the nostril and the little blue spots on the crest. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The next one is a bit of an eye burner. As you can see by the description, the legendary vivid striped Ovi. I mean, it, it sure is vivid. It's very, very vivid. It'll distract the, its enemies with all of these colors and it will swipe in for the kill. Interesting that, that it has a black belly. That kind of works really well, actually. Yeah. Next up, the uncommon marbled Oviraptor. It's not simply a chocolate cake. 
which is a shame. I could totally go for some chocolate cake. And yeah, it does make me think of chocolate swirls. Tasty. But don't be fooled. You're the ones that's gonna be consumed by the Ubi Raptor. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Rare volcanic ash Ubi Raptor. Not formed from lava, but has an erupting temper. It's a very nice uh, black and orange skin. Very nice indeed. Next up, Rare Scorched Ovi Raptor. You may not want to pet this bunny, but it's so cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! Honestly though, this skin is... It just really makes the Ovi Raptor looks fr look friendly and cute. And I kind of want to cuddle it. Although that wouldn't end too well. And that's all of the I uh, event items, uh, scavenger hunt items. I mean, for the Uber Raptor, all these came from gifts. Moving on, the Pteranodon received two skins. However, they are bugged right now, so we can't actually view them in game. But it'll be fixed next patch. So we're moving on to the Cryolophosaurus, and here we have the... I kind of forgot to change that one, but never mind! The rare water cryo resides next to rivers and enjoys drifting down them. It's just a little venomous looking thing. And I got a combustible version of it as well. And what does the combustible version do? Fire! It makes its eyes and feet burn. I'm coming for your soul. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Moving on. Conroe didn't get anything, the poor thing. The Ceratosaurus did get a few things. First off, let's take a look at the skins. We have the rare Arum Serato, bringing great fortune to its fellow Saurians. And this is a really, really nice skin. I really do like the. I'm saying it really a lot, aren't I? Yeah. I very much enjoyed. Okay. <laughs> I really like this vivid color on the horns. Hey, I'm trying to look at you. And the striping down the snout. And the rest of the body is just very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, you look very nice. Yes, you do. Next up, we have the uncommon Aster Sarah. Happy Easter! It's just a simple little skin with a blue nasal horn and a blue tail. Yes, hello. And then we have the legendary re retro, retro, with the English words, the legendary retro wave, Serato. Add a little purple. No, more purple. MORE PURPLE! And I couldn't agree more. As you know, I really like the color purple, and uh, yeah, it's purple. And blue. And black. I also got a frosty variant of this one. Okay, let's go back to the Arum Serato and look at the imitations we got. We got a Crispus Ceratosaurus that is genetically modified to develop two rows of neck spikes, more muscular arms and longer claws. 
as you can see here, it has two rows of spikes on the neck now. The arms look, do look a little bit larger and the claws are a little bit longer. And then we have the legendary Succoserato. Genetically modified using DNA extracts from various members of the Spinosauridae, creating a slimmer, more elongated animal. So yeah, I mean, it's exactly what it says. It has like a Spinosaurid snout and it looks, the horns look kind of funny, <laughs> not gonna lie. But it works really well with the skin. How does it look with the other skins? It, it works pretty well. It works really well with different skins. Yeah, but my favorite is, surprisingly, the Aurum Serato. And that's it for the dinosaurs. The humans got one item. The scientists got a rare Red Devil Assault Cannon, sniping style with a custom hole sight. Oh yeah. And that's, that's it. That's all there is for... Blah, blah, blah. That's all there is for phase one of the scavenger hunt. Phase two is starting on Monday. And uh, it will not take place in game, but online. So we'll see how that goes. Please do note that there will not be any more codes. However, if we can decipher the things in phase two, we will get a sneak peek on what's coming in the future. That's just a couple of months away. So stay tuned and we'll see what uh, comes next. I hope you enjoyed this skin showcase and thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye!